example, the initial condition of the circuit while the switch number 1 is open, relay is not energized, and the electric motor is not running. What will happen if we are going to close the number 1 switch? The current flows from 24 volt supply battery through number 1 switch, through number 2 magnetic coil, and energizing the magnetic relay. Once the magnetic relay energizes, the number 3 single pole double through or SPDT contact change its state from 11 to 12 through 11 to 14. And the current from number 4 power voltage 230 volts flows through close contact number 5 motor and the motor will run and the current flows back to power supply. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire a relay that can control a big motor. Let's do it. From the positive of our power supply, we're going to connect it here. Positive of our power supply, going to our switch, going to coil of a relay A1. From A2 of the relay, going back to, uh, to the negative of the power supply. Now let's try if this relay will plug in. It works. From the positive of our power supply, we're going to connect another supply. Going to the normally open of our relay. From another side of the normally open of the relay. Going to the coil of the magnetic contactor. From A2 of our magnetic contactor coil going back to our negative of our power supply. In this scenario guys, I didn't uh, plug in yet the motor. But anyway, I already connected the power circuit of the motor. When I'm going to press this one, this one should plug in. Doesn't run yet because I didn't plug in yet the power supply. Let's try. Okay. Both of them is plugged in. The relay energize and the contactor energize. Once I plug in the power source of the motor, the motor should run. Now I already plug in the motor. Let's try if it works. It works, guys. So this is a relay how to control a big motor using contactor and power supply. The initial condition is we didn't start the post button. So the current from line 1 going to our number 3 and the number 1 of the CR1. The CR1 normally close indication for our stoplight. This one is already been light because if you're going to see here, passing from here, going here because this is normally close and going to line 2, it's a complete circuit. So this one it should be light. And on our power circuit, it's on the terminal 135. If this one will close, the line current will go directly to the motor and run the motor. But at the moment, it's not yet being started. Okay, this one has already been pressed. What happened is the current from line 1 going straight to stop to start or overload relay going back to line 2. When this one will energize, normally open contact will close. When the time we're going to release this one, the current will pass by here. And this one also will close. So the current will pass here and the run light will on. The current from line 1, line 2, line 3 goes directly to the motor. And now the motor is running. See the indication? Okay. When we're going to stop, it will back to its initial position. To do a lockout tag at first so that we will be safe this is our control circuit and this is our power circuit first thing we're gonna do i'm going to put this uh this two auxiliary contact you see this black dowel i will put it here then need to push okay that's already locked you need to push this one and if we are going to put it just two, just put it here. Then 
way, this is our power circuit. I already wired the power circuit. I am marking it. One, two, three, four. See the terminal block? One, two, three, four. From here, let's connect here. From here, going to line here. Line to our control circuit breaker, going to neutral from our 24 volts out. We are going to connect it to one. From 24 volts, I put it to one. So we already have supply here. The negative supply of our power supply. The negative is going to number four. I will put it here. From one, going to stop. Going to stop post button here. This is the stop post button. Going to start here. Then from start post button, going to our coil of our magnetic contactor A1 here. If this is your first time here, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, fanoc robotics, motor controls, and many more. A2 is going to overload relay. Normally close, we're going to connect it here. Normally close. From our normally close, going to line 4 here. So the first rung is already complete. What we're going to do now, we're going to test if this magnetic contactor will pull in. Turn it on. Turn on the main circuit breaker. Turn on the control circuit breaker. See, we have the light, so it's on. So the motor is already running, but we don't have latching because we didn't connect this auxiliary contact normally open. Now let's connect this one. Let's just open the control voltage. One of the start, we connect it here. Then, so normally open is here. Connect it to the other end of the normally open contact. We need to switch on the control voltage. See? In order to stop it, we need to press the stop button. From normally open, going to our lights. Okay. Going to our lights here. From our lights, line 2 of the lights going to number 4. So this is the good thing if we put a numbering system in our uh, wiring diagram or our schematic diagram, we will not get lost. Let's try again. We're going to start this one. This one is light, so I'm going to switch it off. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to connect this one so that this one will light when when the motor is not running. It's just an indication. Let's connect to line one. Number one here. Going to our normally close. And after that. Connect to stop lights. Then from stop out of the stop, number two of the stop, we're going to connect to line four here. Okay. Now we're going to start. Stop. This one should lead. Okay, good.
When the post button is pressed, the current flows from line 1 through stop 1, stop 2 that is connected in series, through start button that is connected in parallel, through magnetic coil, CR, through overload relay contact, and on line 2. This energizes control relay, which when energized, closes the normally open contact to establish the holding circuit for the control relay. When the start button release also closes the control relay main contact to line 1, line 2, line 3, and complete the circuit to run the motor. Closes also the normally open contact for the run light indication and open the normally closed contact for stop indication. Pushing either of the two stop post button will open the circuit to the magnetic coil and the magnetic coil the energize. Today I'm going to show you how to wire multiple start stop circuit. Let's get started. From the positive terminal of our power supply going to line one. For the negative supply for our 24 volts going to line four. So now we already have supply from our 24 volts power supply going to our terminal block. So this one. From line one going to our stop post button here. Out of the stop post button going to remote remote stop post button the remote stop post button is here I already wire for the stop 1 and 2 for the start 3 and 4 so I will going to connect to 1 I will just use wire nut to join it From our two, going to our start button is going here. Put the wire nut again. Going to our start button. From our start button, going to our A1 of our relay of the magnetic contactor. Up A2 is going to overload relay. Overload relay normally close here. NC. And from NC going to line 4. Going to here. Now we're going to try if it works because it's already complete circuit from line one going to line two for the first round. Let's try to start if this motor will run. Okay, it's run, but we don't have yet a latching circuit. And for the other start button, you are going to connect to 4. Okay, now let's try if it will start here. Okay, this one is already done. What we need is, we just need a auxiliary contact, the latching contact. This is normally open. Okay, we still need one here going to normally open of our magnetic contactor. The open is here. This time it should latch. 
When you are going to push it here, the start button, you can press here the stop button. That is multiple start stop. If I'm going to press the start here, I can stop it here. So even though when you are 100, 100 feet away, you can still start. See this one? You go to the other location, stop it. Now the next one is we're going to connect the indication light. From line one, going to our, going to the normally open. From normally open, going to our lights. Start. And from lights, going to line four here. When I'm going to start this indication light for run button should light. Okay, when you're going to stop, it should stop. It should uh, go away. Okay. Next is we're going to connect normally close for our stop indication light. From line one, going to our normally close. From our normally close, going to lights. Lights. From our two of lights, going to four. Two of lights going to four. Here. Okay, when I'm going to start, this one should go away. When I'm going to stop, start, stop. Jogging is the process that uses quick power in order to move a motor or load like conveyor into a desired position. According to NEMA, National Electrical Manufacturers Association, Jogging is a quick repeated closure of a circuit to start a motor from stop motion for the purpose of accomplishing a small movement of the driven machine. Let's get started. When you press the start button, the current flows from line 1, goes through the stop post button that is connected in series with the circuit, through the start post button that is connected in parallel, through the magnetic contactor, overload relay, then back to the power supply line 2. When the magnetic contactor is energized, the normally open contact, which is our latching or sealing contact, will close. When you release the start button, the current flow will divert from line 1 through stop post button, through normally closed auxiliary contact, through normally closed jug contact, through the magnetic coil, overload relay, then back to line 2. When you are going to press the jug post button, the current will flow from line 1 through stop post button, through the normally post button that held close momentarily, through the magnetic contactor, overload relay, then back to line 2. Thank you for watching.
and see you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.